Hi, and welcome to Create, Automate, and Scale Podcast. Tune in to this inspirational, straight-to-the-point, relatable content for entrepreneurs to help you mastermind the everyday hassle, give you business tips, networking opportunities, shameless money talks, and scaling secrets. Created to support you, to support coaches and course creators just like you, to help you take action, stop trading dollars for hours, and explode your business. It's time to hit that six figure and beyond. Let's go. Welcome, welcome to another thrilling episode of Create, Automate, and Scale, the podcast that's your compass in the ever evolving landscape of entrepreneurship. Hi, I'm your host, Sophie Riley, and today we are spilling the beans on the three unusual things that brings more sales into your business more than your marketing. Now, hold on to your hats because we've got the one and only the visionary extraordinaire, Jennifer Lyle, with us today. Welcome, Jennifer. Thank you so much, Sophie. I'm really excited for this conversation. Merci beaucoup. I am too. Now, you are not just a business strategist. You're like a magician when it comes to turning million dollar ideas into reality. And you're really giving us some secrets today on marketing because getting more sales into a business, it's a must, right? If you don't have sales, you don't have a business, you have a hobby and you're really handing us the map. Now, I know that marketing is extremely important in your business. I'm really, really excited to dive in. Did you want to tell us a little bit about yourself and a little bit more about you and your business before we jump in into the into the goods? Sure, absolutely. So I call myself an intuitive business mentor and chief energy optimizer. So I blend intuition with business strategy and it's built on a foundation of mastering your energy. I have been fascinated with marketing for decades. I graduated from university with a Bachelor of Commerce with honors and specialized in marketing and was immersed in marketing in the corporate world and the not-for-profit world. And then over the last decade, supporting entrepreneurs and their businesses. And while I get all of the nitty gritty of why marketing is so important because it's how you're expressing your band, your brand and your positioning, your products, your services and your pricing and, and all of those P's of marketing. But there is a step, several steps actually, that people miss before they figure out all the actionable items that actually is the rocket fuel for how everything unfolds. And that's what I want to dive into today, because if you have been banging your head up against the wall, doing all the different things, taking different programs, following different systems, and nothing seems to be getting you the results that you want to get, you're missing one of these three pieces, if not all three. Well, I'm really excited because you certainly piqued my curiosity, and I know you piqued the curiosity of everybody that's listening. So what what is it that we can do that it goes beyond the marketing that can bring us clients? So I'm going to introduce an idea that I'm, I'm going to call marketing coherence. And this is where there is coherence or alignment between that spark of joy that had you create your business, your products and your services in the first place, how you are expressing it, how you are living it, and how you consistently think and make decisions in your business. So we all know that feeling that inspired us to start our business in the first place, right? There's this joy, this excitement, but there's that big grand idea And then when you come back to, okay, yes, this is my dream, my vision. So one of my visions is I'm going to teach a million people. I have already taught over 60,000 people so far how to check their inner battery as often as they check their phone battery. 
And so that's a big, grandiose idea. And it can be overwhelming to think about that. And we can get caught up in the stories of, who am I to do this? Is it really going to work? That's a really big number. And we can talk ourselves out of alignment or coherence with that big vision. So that's the very first thing that you have to consider is the energy of who you're being as you're taking steps in your business. Is it the same energetic match as that big vision you have? Is it the same energetic match of the offer or the product that you've created and the results that you are bringing forth for your clients? Are you embodying those results? Are you embodying the the process that you teach? Because if you're not, then there's this energetic mismatch. And it doesn't matter how many times you speak the words and try to just give lip service to it. If you're not doing it, even if you're being wobbly, it's okay. It's okay to be wobbly in it. You don't have to be perfect, but you have to be going through the journey and living it. Does anything come up for you with that, Sophie? I love that. You know, I am not a coach per se. I am a tech nerd. So I help everybody with automation, tech. Tech is where I live my happiest life, okay? (laughs) Mm -hmm. But I have a lot of clients. And sometimes, you know, the way that I think of everything is entrepreneur math. And I know that this sounds so boring, but it's sort of my way of thinking of what you just said, right? Sometimes we have a million dollar year and then we're going to engineer backwards everything that we need to do. And sometimes our action doesn't match, you know, the end result. And then we're wondering, you know, well, how come I didn't get to that big goal? So I'm, I'm more always thinking of not necessarily the inside, the mindset, the energy, but I will look at the back end and I will say, well, maybe this doesn't match. Or one of my, I don't want to call it a pet peeve, but I'm lacking the word to call what it is. You know, sometimes people advertise, I made a million dollar year, take my whatever X, Y, Z and do it for yourself. And everybody gets really excited for the million dollar, but doesn't necessarily see what that particular entrepreneur has put into their business. So to give you an example, I'm pretty chill. I don't want to work myself to the ground. I want to enjoy my life. I would rather take a slower, a slower, you know, route to the million dollar and kind of have a small team and do it nicely and, you know, have less growth that is so fast. And, you know, when you grow really fast, a lot of things change. You need more team. You need more. You need more of everything than having a million dollar business instantly, but having spent half of that in team, half like another, you know, 15, 20% in ads. So it's not just the end result that matters. It's really the entire process needs to kind of match who you are, right? Yes. Yes. It's very true. And like, don't get me wrong. I'm not trying to advocate for people having a million dollar business. I mean, yeah, absolutely. I want to advocate for people having the business that lights them up. And sometimes there are million dollar decisions that you need to make in that process and having the confidence to make it. But I've witnessed it in myself and with my clients. There is one launch that I was working on for a summit several years ago. I have like an amazing team that has literally done hundreds of summits. They knew how to do everything. And so my mentor, that's part of that team said, Hey, why don't we try this as a way for you to do list building, build your authority. And they literally took on everything I just needed to light up and light up, light up the event, really put my full heart and my energy into it, coordinate the different speakers and get it all done. And so part of me was dancing of, okay, I'm going to do this. I'm going to try my best. But then the other part of me is like, well, all the other things I've worked on have failed. So when's the shoe going to drop for this? And this brings me to the second piece of the three components that I know make a significant difference in what your business is. So number one is having that vision and being the energetic match to that vision. I was not being the energetic match to that successful summit. Number two is having the thoughts consistently focus on that destination. 
And having that be like 60, 70% of where your thoughts are focused on, that you're going to be able to do it rather than when is the other shoe going to drop. So because I was so precariously walking on this tightrope of wanting the success for it, but so nervous and afraid that I was focusing more on what things are going to go wrong. It didn't matter that they have clients where they literally just promote the exact, exact, exact same summit. They just change the year, the same recorded speakers, the same everything. And that person will have a six figure launch every year. Whereas I was throwing so much worry and doubt and fear at it that my, that summit failed for me. So it didn't matter that the tech team knew how to do things. I was the one who was sabotaging it with my thinking and with my energy. So those are two things. The third thing is believing in and expecting success. So it's linked to the thinking, but it's even more than that. Because if we waver and how we are putting ourselves out there, our language, right? Marketing is so focused on the words that you use, right? And so if the language that you're using ends up being more wishy-washy, I'm going to try to do this. Well, you're not believing in your success. And that gets infused in everything that you're doing and people pick up on it. So you have to embody the energy of what it is that you're doing. Consistently think about (laughs) what it is that you actually want and let go of what you don't want and believe in your success for yourself and for the results that you're going to create for your clients. If you have all those three things, your marketing will be simplified and easy. And, And for example, I was on a mastermind call this morning, witnessing it. And one of my colleagues, she shared that she's been on a health journey the last six, eight weeks. And yet she just had eight people register for her program for next year. And these are people who are not on her mailing list. Like she doesn't know how they found her, but eight people just registered in the last week. That's incredible. That's a lot. It is. And she's been focusing on her. Exactly. She's been focusing on her health and having to surrender in the process of it. It's like just trusting like the events, not until next fall but she's just surrendered to it. That's so exciting. It is is really exciting. I don't know if you've ever heard of that saying, but you know, I kind of, it kind of relates to this entire episode is if you don't have the business of your dream is because you haven't become the person Mm -hmm. to run that person. Right. We cannot just think that it's just business, business, business. Um, a lot of it, I, don't, I wouldn't be able to put a percentage to it, but so much of growing a business is the inner work that we do every single day, right? We are all onto this huge learning journey. I don't think that any one of us could ever say we'll be done learning, <laughs> right? Or expanding. It's always so, so exciting. But I really think that this relates to, to this entire to this entire interview. It's it's amazing. Now, let's say that I've worked on all of these three pillars. Mm-hmm. Would you say that somebody that's working on those three pillars continues with their marketing? Oh, absolutely. You still have to do the marketing. You still have to put yourself out there. It just gets way easier because you get excited to share what you do. The words flow and it lands and connects with the heart and soul of your potential clients even more deeply. So it allows you to create these deeper connections. And then you will see some synchronicity, like the story I just shared that my colleagues experienced, because you're embodying it, you have to do less of the work. So essentially, what's happening is you're releasing and reducing your resistance to it. So there's less frustration. So it just gets easier to do. And then it connects with more people and then things go like viral. This random thing will go viral because you're just having fun with it. You're not attached to the outcome. It's just, you also understand the relationship between being very intentional and the energy that you put behind the actions that you do take. And it's really that alignment is felt. The, The energy is felt. I love that. I want to say there might be some pushback on this one from some of our listeners, but that's okay. I really do believe, Jennifer, that you are a true coach because it's not just here's how you run a business. 
this there's this is why not every program works for everyone, right? Every program works in theory for some people, but not necessarily everyone. And the reason is, is because the person hasn't been taking in consideration with that coaching or that course offer, correct? Mm -hmm. But with exactly. a coach, with a true coach, you're asking the questions, you're making sure that this works for a specific person. And I think that's incredible. And that really is, I really appreciate you bringing that forth because that is one of the differentiators between me being an intuitive business mentor because like even one of my clients, so often my clients work with multiple coaches. So they might be working with me and they might be working with specifically a, a marketing or branding coach, for example. And a few weeks ago, having a conversation with my client, she's like, oh, you know, I was working on lead magnet for my website with my branding coach. And so we developed this thing, but it just isn't sitting right. And it's like, okay, well, how does that, well, number one, how does it make you feel like light her up? And it didn't sit well. And number two, how does that then lead into the customer journey that you want to take people through so that the next logical step is having a call with you or having your next workshop or having whatever. And once we felt into it. It took like 15 minutes. We rejigged the lead magnet to just apply to a slightly different area, still the same concept. But then she felt lit up. She's like, okay, I'm excited about this because she was dragging her feet on following through because it did not light her up. It was not aligned. But once we tweaked that for her energy and for her customer journey and how she wanted to serve, then boom, she was able to create it, get it out. And it was easy peasy. It makes all the difference. It's going to be the difference between somebody coming to you. An example, I'm sure you've heard it maybe a few times. You let me know. Well, my coach told me to do this and I'm excited I'm doing this. This is completely too different. And yes, these could be you're doing the same thing. But because my coach told me to do it, it's never, it's never good enough. Right. Like it has to like you have to be excited about it. It has to make sense with you, your marketing, your business. We don't we have to stop 2024. Let's stop just doing things just because somebody told us to do something. <laughs> and and right? I also that is really critical that you bring that up. And I also recognize, though, that sometimes the 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 feeling that holds people back is that they're not ready to be seen. They have this fear and shame of judgment and um, they're worried about what people are going to think or they get their subconscious mind creates these uh, patterns of confusion and overwhelm that prevents them from moving forward on things that are really super simple. And sometimes the idea could be a good match, but they need to step up into it. Mm -hmm. And sometimes the coach can, if they have been through all of that before, they can see the higher path and it can be an invitation up. But it, it still, even if they have to work through that inner resistance to let go of that, to be able to see, oh yeah, you know what? That really is a good idea, but I, I can see how I'm resisting it. So they have to be that energetic match. And sometimes it's just the concept that the coach might be introducing to them and that they just need to tweak it a bit so it does align for them. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. I love this. Now, I know, Jennifer, that you have some amazing gifts for us. And the first one is actually part of our entrepreneur bundle that is live right now. Do you want to tell us a little bit about about that offer? Mm -hmm. This is a 21 day revenue boost. It's a, a journal slash guide where I walk you through the mindset shift and the inner shifts that you you can embody and start to cultivate so that you're focusing on the abundance rather than worrying about, oh my gosh, is this going to work? Am I going to make my numbers? It, it's shifting the focus to abundance so that you can experience that revenue boost in your business. So it's really simple, easy to do. I'm, I'm there, um, there's through the guide, you have different prompts every day and simple, simple things, just getting your mindset and energy focused on the desired results. I love that. So that offer is available completely free until the 31st of December. So make sure you go and grab that. And if for any reason you're tuning in after the 31st of December, uh, Jennifer still has some gifts for you. They're below uh, this episode. Did you want to tell us a little bit about the free gift? Sure. It's the seven day energy transformation to help you attract more clients. So 
I mentioned earlier that I'm on a mission to teach a million people how to check their inner battery as often as they check their phone battery. And in that seven days, I'll be in your inbox each day teaching you the concept of how to check your inner battery, which is a really high performance energy management tool. And as you start to recognize where your energy levels are and understand how to be more in a thriving state, that's when you start to see more synchronicities, the marketing gets easier, and you start to attract more clients. It's really fun and easy to implement. I love it. And I love this analogy because everybody has looked several times today on their phone battery. That is pretty much a guarantee, right? <laughs> yes. Yes. And so you can grab that at jlyle.com forward slash energy. Perfect. And I'm putting all the links below this episode. I want to say thank you so, so much for your time, your energy, your passion, and everything that you've taught us today. Truly appreciate you. Thank you so much. And I appreciate you and all the magic you create behind the scenes for everyone to shine. Thank you. Thank you, everyone, to listening to another episode of Create, Automate, and Scale. Thanks for tuning in to the Create, Automate, and Scale podcast. We hope you found today's episode to be inspirational, informative, and straight to the point. Our goal is to provide you with relatable content that helps you mastermind the everyday hassle, grow your business, and achieve your goals. As an entrepreneur, we know how tough it is that it can be to navigate the world of business, which is why we're here to support you with valuable tips, networking opportunities, shameless money talk, and scaling secrets. We're dedicated to helping coaches and course creators take action, stop trading dollars for hours, and explode their business to hit that six figure and beyond. Make sure you subscribe to our podcast to stay up to date with the latest episode and feel free to leave a review or reach out to us with any feedback or questions that you may have. Thanks for listening, and we'll catch you in the next episode of Create, Automate, and Scale.